Hi all, I'm back with um, another little video about this uh, Acme 4K action cam. Now one of the comments on my last video uh, had asked me to go through the modes and how it all works. Well, it's very, very basic. There's basically two buttons, mode and on button. And then this is your trigger for taking pictures or for selecting menu options. The screen at the back um, is filthy, but apart from that, it's not actually a touch screen either. So pressing on it doesn't do anything. Um, I don't know if the proper GoPros or anything are, um, but you turn it on, press and hold that. There we go. Takes just a second to boot up, and you see we're now at the main screen. The screen shows you that you're in video mode, how many minutes of you've taken a video. How many minutes are remaining? The quality service is set at 1080p 60 at the moment and the battery life. So you navigate or change the modes by pressing that once. So there we go, that's in photo mode. That's burst photo mode. You can see that it will take 7,000 pictures now rather than minutes. And the pictures are 12 megapixels wide. Um, Time-lapse photos, again, 12 megapixels wide because it is a 12 megapixel camera. And then into settings. Settings, you navigate the settings, pressing this once to move forward through each option and that to select the option. Now, for navigation around the settings, uh, there is no back, so it is just simply a case of going forward each time. So we'll select the settings, we'll go in. You've got what you'd expect to see. You've got your um, video resolution. So you can set what you want it at, 1080p, 4K, 2.7K, whatever. Um, I think as mentioned on one of the other comments on the other video, <clears throat> um, the 4K is not really worth it. I'd agree with that, neither is a 2.7K, but it is, at 1080p, 60, fairly reasonable little camera, uh, reasonable quality. So, let's set that. Set whether you want it to loop video, set your timestamp now when I got it the timestamp wasn't set so I had to go and set it um, the exposure this is quite a useful one because it's it is just a cheap sensor in there um, I found that I had to bump the exposure a little bit just to stop it from being a really dark image and try and lighten it up make it a little bit more um, more viewable so I just put it at 0.3 but you've got a fair whack of adjustment you can go all the way up so it's not too bad on uh, the settings and obviously if you're in a really bright day you can take it down but you'd never want to do that basically um, you can set your photo resolution burst photos how many you want to take how often again with time lapses how how long you want it to time lapse over um, and how many pictures uh, and continuous time lapse we'll just keep looping and overwriting looping and overwriting looping and overwriting um, power frequency not really applicable I, I, when you go in here the only thing really is you want to set it on auto um, I assume it's for charging in different countries but it's the weirdest setting I've ever seen um, language it does support multiple languages I have it set to English but yeah it's fine date time again had to go in and set it but you can set the format so um, how you want it you want it in American or European or English or whatever um, and you just click and press to go through each one but the downside to a date and time as you see now there's no actual way out of it you can't save it and go out you have to turn it off turn it back on it, very weird it's the only menu it does that all the rest of them have an exit button um, and as you scroll th scroll through with your mode setting button you see in the top right a little cross um, all the rest of them have an option for that apart from the daytime for some reason um, don't know why how many photos it wants to take on its loop etc um, take three 
you don't really use any of these settings. Sound indicator, that's just whether you want it to beep or not when you're going through its menus. Again, I turned it off because it was annoying me. Uh, upside down, it's quite a useful one. If you have the camera mounted that way around, so it's upside down, you can tell it that it's in upside down mode and it will switch the video on or to rotate it for you. Screen saver, this dictates when this screen at the back turns off how long it stays on for now i change that so it never turns off because i'm using it handheld almost not just videoing other stuff um no doubt once to strap it strap it to the car i'll turn the screen saver off um power save is basically sleep mode so when the camera's been idle for 60 seconds two minutes whatever it will actually power down the camera as well save your battery because one thing it does do is it nukes battery incredibly fast when you record it you never fill a whole five hours worth of uh, memory stick at 1080p for example on the one battery charge so format is just a format in your memory uh, the memory card did it I mean it's a simple yes or no reset resets all the settings including the date time on the camera um, it's really the only setting in there anyway, so yeah. And then obviously that's just the version. Um, but yeah. And then you see that yellow cross on the top is highlighted now. And yeah, back to there. Press and hold the front to power it. So yeah, very basic, very simple. Doesn't, you know, rock your world type thing in settings, but it does function. Um, and it is of a reasonable quality in 1080p so yeah there you go um, that's the navigation menu of a cheap little action cam